If you've been following my memory overclocking videos, you may recognize these generic 16GB uh, ADI modules that I bought in AliExpress. They've been great overclockers, but I'm going to increase my capacity from 32 gigs to 48 gigs using this uh, 8000 Trident Z5 kit from G-Skill. It's the same memory I'm using on the Z790 Apex. It's running daily stable 24-7 at 8600. So we're going to try them here on the dark. So I quickly learned that the settings that work on the Apex won't work on the dark. So after some trial and error, I figured out what needs to happen for the 48 gigabyte kit on the dark. Uh, namely, I've set my VDDQ and VDD2 for the CPU to auto. Those are toned down a little bit from where they were. I've toned down the VDD voltage from about one, about 1 1.5, 1.52 at 8,000 down to 1.435. Most of the timings need to be looser on the 48 gigabyte kit than with the 32 gigs. Also, my ODTs are all set to auto now. Um, those had to be set manually for stability above 8,000 on the dark and al also on the Apex. But um, with these modules, not so much. Uh, they require looser timings and lower voltage to avoid errors, but they still perform really well. So you'll see that a couple of things I had to ch I had to change from the XMP profile to get stability just setting XMP and letting it run I was getting a few random errors most of them most of the settings are fine so we're passing TM5 with flying colors really good A to 64 latency read write and copy but we need to make sure that we're stable for more than just benching because 8000 is going to be my daily driver so I'm going to go for a 200 percent coverage with run memtest pro if I get 200% coverage on there, should be good for for daily use. And then I can lock that in as a profile for daily use and then focus on increasing my overclock for benching. So I've got this really powerful little fan blowing right on the modules to keep them from overheating. The factory heat sinks are pretty much worthless. I call them heating blankets because they don't, they, they harm more than they help really. It, you're better off with naked memory modules with the fan blowing on them than those heat sinks. But anyway, <coughs> we're nearing the end of the test. We're going to be about an hour and 12 minutes into it for 200% coverage. Our temperatures are holding strong at 43 degrees Celsius, which is great. Anything uh, hotter than that, we're going to start getting errors. So that fan's doing a nice job to keep the... Uh, the temperatures in check so I'm gonna be able to put these things on water so I don't have to worry about the temperatures anymore and then we can look at increasing the overclock from that point so anyway hope you found this informative and useful thanks for watching as always I appreciate my subscribers if you're not a subscriber please remember to ch uh, click the like button and subscribe Come back for more. Thank you for watching again. Have a great day.